Hey guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale. Welcome to my channel. I'm a full-time reseller and we have a Savers Jewelry Jar to open today. Um, if you guys caught my live, my pop-up live sale last Thursday, I talked to you guys that I did pick this up and it was like a fishbowl. I mean, look at it. I think it's a fishbowl, maybe not, but still kind of funny. Um, so before we get into this, I want to do um, a shout out or two. Um, I have some really great, I have, let me see, three great people I would like to shout out. First and foremost is Marzena. If you guys um, have not heard about her, she is um, on Sugar Vision with Steven and she just uh, updated her own YouTube channel. Sunshine Amberzina, which I will put right here. And I will put her link down in the description box. She's gonna start doing her own um, videos and live sales and selling in her videos. So make sure you guys subscribe to her. Also, um, so I had gotten a really beautiful package in the mail from a subscriber. It was in a box, but when I pulled it out, this was the package and it was just so beautiful. And, um, you know, she watches me and sent me a couple things, including her very own um, jewelry that she makes. So she is Black Mountain Jewelry, Marcina Ramirez Buchan. And these are garnet, so I did test them. These little beads here are garnet and amber check glass. So these are glass. Okay, then you got the little um, hummingbirds and I just thought it was so cute. Um, so she sent me these and you know, she didn't say anything about a shout out, but I figured maybe she deserves one. So you can go follow her on Black Mountain Jewelry on YouTube. I will put her link in the description box as well. Um, she doesn't really do many videos right now, but she said she will, you know, she's getting to it. So that's awesome. Anybody that takes that leap to, um, you know, make their own videos on here is, is just awesome and more power to you. And then her husband does, um, chopstick drip art. And she actually sent me one of his pieces for my office. Um, it's, I don't... I mean, I guess I can show you. I took a picture of it, um, so we're just gonna do it that way. So that's the picture, the artwork that you know she sent from him. It is absolutely awesome. And what he does is he just uses paint uh, chopsticks to drip paint onto wood surfaces. And I went to his. Um, YouTube channel. It's just Peter Buchan. So um, I will put that information in the description box as well. And he has an actual website. And I went to his YouTube channel and I, I couldn't believe the work that he does. Like, look at that. That's all done with the chopstick drip art. Like, look at that. How cool. So cool. There's another one. So I definitely had to share this with you guys. Uh, so um, that was really cool. Thank you, Marcina and um, Peter. And also shouting out Marzena. <laughs> so check the description box for all those links. And um, also all my information is always in the description box if you ever have any questions. Um, I will have a sold list in the comment section. So if you just scroll up on this video where all the comments are, it'll be the first comment listed, the sold list. Make sure you also refresh the video after you watch it to get the most up-to-date sold list. And if you like anything in the video you wanna purchase, you can email me at another chance resale one at gmail.com and give me a timestamp and a brief description of what you would like to purchase. Okay, so let's dive into this bowl. 
So this was this is from Savers, aka Value Village, and it was twenty nine ninety nine. They had a few other jars, but they honestly looked like garbage. This one looked the best, and so that's the one I picked. And let's see what we got. All right, and we are going to, since I can't really tip this one over, we're gonna try to just leave it right here on the side and dig into it like a big bowl of popcorn. I don't know. All right, let's bring you guys in a little bit and do a focus check. Okay, so let's see. This is a stretchy. It has some type of something tied onto it. I think they are glass, so I'll do $4 on that. I will take off that ribbon and paper. Here is just a bangle that's all bent up. We're gonna put this in craft. By the way, I have a four pound craft lot ready to go. If anybody's interested in it, I will ask $20 including shipping. So $20 shipped, four pound craft lot, um, 20 bucks shipped and if you purchase anything else it just has to be um, on a separate like in a separate package so I would send out the four pound craft lot for 20 bucks and then anything else you purchase I would um, add shipping to it and send it separately okay so that's that but the four pound craft lot is already made so anything that I put into craft from here it's not going to be in there this will be starting a new craft lot Okay, so this is, I hope that made sense. I will also put that information in the description box for you. Okay, so this looks like a little like memory wire type bracelet. Um, it's in good condition. Let's do $4. So we have this, oh wait, there's two earrings on it. So we have this earring. It's, it's I mean, We'll see. There's a little wear on it, but we'll see if we have the mate. This is glass. That's really pretty. We'll hold on to that. This little guy is a little clip-on. I guess he's okay. We'll hang on to that for a mate. This is a little um, Saturn with a star earring. It's got a little bit of wear, but let's see if we have the mate. This is a um, scarf clip scarf like holder and a and a brooch or maybe even um a fur because it has the little prongs in there um i mean it's all right there's a little bit of glue you can see um yeah i mean it's yeah i'll just do two dollars all right this is cute this has some brown different color browns and like you know amber colors um, it does have a knot in it I will take that out oh it's 1928 all right so um, I don't really know if I'll be able to get a proper measurement let me see if I can just get this out quickly and then we can measure it. All right, one more second. I think I got it. Okay, there is still a knot in it, but I can give you like an estimated measurement. So it's an eight inch drop and it does have an extender. So really pretty. I will do $6. This little thing is just gonna go into craft. I think those are metal. This looks like an earring. That's actually kind of cool. All right, we'll hold on to it. Usually the feathers are all kinds of grungy. Um, this is okay too, we'll hold on to that. This on the other hand is all kinds of jacked up. Um, I do not think these are sterling. Let's 
they're not magnetic, but I can see the copper tone showing through right there. So these will be a dollar. That's cool. This is, that could be chalcedony or quartz, but these are all definitely stones. So let's turn on Pressy. We'll hold on to that for a second. This looks cute. What are you? You're not an earring? Nope. Something fell off somewhere, but this is cute. That stinks. So let's hold on to it. Maybe we'll find another one. We'll see if it's an um, an earring or what. So this looks like it's missing some of these other parts. So we'll put that into craft. This looks like a um, like paper bead bracelet. It is stretchy, but it kind of doesn't go back to the original stretch. So we'll put that into craft. All right, so let's see about this bracelet. Let's move you over a little bit. Okay, so maybe it's just glass. Right, it could be like a chalcedony or something. It is moving out of the glass line. Could be a chrysophrase. And these look like they're just glass. All right, so not too bad. Um, it's got a tight stretch. Um, I'll just do five on it. Yeah, that's fine. All right, here is a watch. It's a um, digital, but I don't really know if anyone would be interested in that. I mean, it's not really in bad shape. I could always try to change the battery. I would just do five. Let's actually look at that first. So this just looks like a strand of pearls. It might have been broken. They are real, but they're gonna go into crafting. As, uh, same with this brooch, we're missing three stones. Oh look, here's the other one. So maybe it's not supposed to be an earring because this one doesn't have anything on it either. So I'm not really sure but they're pretty. So I will do them for $2 if anyone wants to make them into earrings. That's pretty. That's 1928 brand, so we'll hold on to that. That's kind of yucky. I'm not really sure what that is, so that's gonna be a craft. Same with that. Let's see what this big plastic black necklaces. Okay, so it looks like it's all one necklace. There's no clasp. There's a couple different knots in it, but I'm just going to do it for a dollar because it's plastic and you can see a little bit of like you know, discoloration of the black, so that'll just be a dollar. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow, I mean, there's only one rhinestone still there from that, so that's a dollar. This looks like it was sterling. Oh yeah, there's a mark on that. Let's see. Yep, 925, it's upside down. Let's fix it. It just looks like some numbers, 8,000, oops, I don't know. Okay, but it's sterling, so we will hold on to that and hope for the make, because that'll be nice. This looks like opalite, which is a man-made stone, um, but it has the adjustable little pull strings. We'll do that for three. This is a cute little 
um, earring, so we'll hold on to that. This looks like it's marked something jewels. Cool jewels. Oh, that is cool. <laughs> so his eye is missing a stone, go figure. But that's an easy fix, and it's in good condition otherwise. It is a eight inch drop without the extender. So I'm just gonna do $3 on this guy. I mean, you don't have to put an eye in there. So I'll just do three. Let's clear this off a little bit. And see what else we got. What is this? <laughs> oh my gosh, what is that? <sighs> All right, what do I even do? Let's just start with this. Okay, let's get this out of here because this will probably just be crafting. Jeez Louise, okay. So it does have a clasp, but the paint is coming off on a lot of these. So yeah, $1. And this looks broken, so let me take this out of here. Wait, where'd it go? This one. Okay, so that's out of here. This is a little stretchy seashell bracelet. Don't see any maker marks. Uh, there's a little bit of wear. It's not horrible. So I'll do $3. Let's see this. These might be glass and maybe some type of wood or something. Pretty nice toggle. Yeah, I mean, it's not in bad condition. So let's roll with it. It's a 17 and a 17 inch total length and I'll do five. Ay, ay, ay. All right, let me just take, get both of these here. And we're gonna put both of this in crafting the silver on here is very um, scratched up, and so are the pearls. These look pretty though, these are earrings. Those are really nice. I love the caps on them. There might be a little bit of glue, but look at that, beautiful. Let's do um, $4 on those. Don't even know, it looks like a stretched out hair tie, so that's gonna actually go right in the garbage. This is a glass heart pendant, super pretty, on a black cord. It's very um, bent. It's an eight inch drop without the extender, $5. This looks like a Chico's. Ta-da! Wow, look at this thing. But then look at the teeny little tassel. <laughs> it's got some scratches. I mean, it's pretty cool. The caps look like Brighton. Um... It's really not in bad shape. There's just a couple little scratches to this big blue plastic pendant. And it is very long. It does have an extender. 
without it to the blue pe to the blue pendant. It's 16 inches on the drop, and I'll do five dollars. Otherwise, that'd be like a ten or twelve dollar piece. Oh wow! Look at this big thing. Holy moly! Whoa! All right, this looks like it could be pretty cool. Oh my gosh! Look it. Do we have these are all labradorite? All right, hold on. Hold on. Let's unclasp this and get everything off. Everyone, get off. <laughs> oh, there's something written on the clasp. What's it say? Oh my gosh, I can't read that. Hold on. What does that say? I don't know why they have to write it so small all the time. <laughs> Gosh, I cannot make that out. It's not 925. It might be like a 120th thing. The other side, yeah, it's a it's a 120th something gold filled because look at the other side. There's your GF, gold filled. So it's definitely 120th, maybe 14 karat gold filled. Super pretty. I wonder if this is sterling, probably not. This is definitely a bone. It is, it does have a crack though, right there. I hope this isn't like a tusk because that would not really be great. Maybe it's a rib bone, I don't know. Let's, um, let's see if this is sterling. It's not magnetic. These are definitely Labradorite. There is some flash, but it's not very, um, not very good Labradorite. Like it's not the best quality unless there'd be like super flash. Okay, let's check this out. What an interesting piece. No, not sterling. Let me get. Where'd my little uh, things go to wipe my desk? Where did they go? All right, so I don't know if anyone would be interested in this. Um, it is sitting at an eight inch drop and then you have the extender. I mean, it's pretty cool even if you just want to add it to your jewelry collection or take it apart for these beads. I'm going to do $25. That is super de duper cool. Hopefully it's not a tusk. Okay, let's see what else we got. Oh, this is a J. Crew. It is. Nice. Hold on, let me get it straight here. Let me unclasp it because I think that's the problem. There we go. So it's like a um, cream colored bauble necklace. Beautiful. I mean, this is in excellent condition. Usually J. Crew is all jacked up on the chain. But this is really nice. And this is actually something that I would put into my jewelry subscription boxes. If you guys are unfamiliar, I do have a monthly jewelry subscription box service. And um, I will put the link for it in the description box. You can click the link. I have two different tiers that you can choose from. And um, you know you can read about each tier. And all the information is there. So check that out if you're interested. 
So this one I would do, I'll offer it to you guys, let's see. It's an eight inch drop without the extender and let's do $10. Pretty cool, excellent, excellent condition. All right, this thing has got all kinds of hair in it and this is attached to this. And this, I think, goes with this spiky thing. This whole thing is going to go into craft. So that's one, one piece for $1. These feel like clay. These are actually re really pretty. Look at the pattern on that. Very clean, very good condition, very nice stretch. Um, five bucks. All right, let's do this big guy first so we can get him out of the way. What's, what else is attached in here? Let's get this unclasped. That always helps with untangling. Okay, now this I did see a clasp on, check it out. That's kind of cool, right? Ooh, it is a Marvella. Sweet. So Marvella is, pr is a pretty nice um, vintage jewelry brand. Um, this is super tangled, but I think I just got it. Check that out. There are, they are faux pearls in like a champagne and brown color gorgeous awesome condition you guys this is awesome um so let's give a drop measurement it's a 14 inch drop it's absolutely gorgeous there are four eight 12 12 strands awesome so i'm gonna do um I'm going to do $15 on this. This is really nice. Really, really nice. This this jar so far is already better than my last few. <laughs> what is this? Sales Fund Employment and Education in Nicaragua. Handmade in Nicaragua, Nicaragua by Geraldine Yahoska. So um, this is actually nice. I mean, it's really super clean. And then you just kind of, I guess, tie it through here around your wrist. So let's do $5. Um, we got a little giraffe dude here. Someone was trying to sell him for $3. Um, I don't see it. Oh, I do see a clasp. So it's kind of, gosh, she's getting stuck on everything. It's um, asymmetric. So here's the clasp here. And the giraffe would sit like on the side. Pretty cool. They're all plastic beads. It is a fish hook clasp. Don't see any writing on it. Let me do a drop measurement. 13 inch drop, and I guess I'll stick with the $3. It's a good deal. Here is a plastic um, bangle that is painted silver. Um, it's got some scratches, so that'll just be a dollar. Ooh, look at this earring, ooh wee. How pretty is that? I, oh yeah, I do see, is that a maker mark in there? Right there. Hmm. 
kind of hard to get in there. All right, well, let's hope for the mate because that's really nice. Let's see what this is. On the wings of an angel, travel safely. Teachers, guardian angel, please travel safely. So what is it, though? It's, it looks like a clip. Oh, visor clip. So you just clip it on your visor, and it's your little guardian angel. Um, five bucks. Makes a good stocking stuffer. Get that hair out of there. This is cool. This, oh, 925. Wow, I mean, that's big. This is awesome. You got like the pentagram with the double moons, like a tree of life kind of thing. So that's really cool. Um, well, I guess we can, I guess we can test it now, right? Instead of waiting to the end. Oh yeah, she's a sterling. Ding, ding, ding. Now, I do have chains. Let me see. I think I have one chain left. Let me see what the um, measurement is on it. It's an 18 inch chain. It is sterling. So, this alone, I'm going to do $14. With the chain, I will do $28. Because this is, this is a big piece. So 28 together or 14 just with the pendant, okay? Sterling, sterling. I'll put the sterling chain over here in case anybody wants it. Okay. This also looks like sterling, but it is a complete disaster. Um, the stretch is not very nice on it. It's not marked. Oh. Okay, I don't think it's sterling. So, um, uh, I guess we can test it quick just to be sure. That's the little um, pipe things, tubulars. There's the charm. No, okay. So that will just go into craft. We have a compact, a locket. There we go. Nobody's home. I don't know if that's supposed to be initials. Has a $5 price tag on it. It's in good shape, even if you just take the um, chain. 12 inch drop, and I'll keep it at five bucks. Okay, this has no maker mark. This is just plastic with a little tassel. It is in really nice condition. 13 inch drop to the tassel. $5. It's cute. This is 1928 brand. Beautiful earring. Let's hang on to that. Oh, I think this is our first. Oh, never mind. I thought it was. Okay. I thought we had this mate, but we don't. So we'll hold on to that one. This one looks like it has a mark. Glam, glass, article, glass article. <laughs> Just a little brass tree. There is a huge knot in it. 
Never heard of the brand. Watch it be something completely out of this world. Let's see if we can do a quick search. And I think it said glass article. Glass article necklace. Nope, maybe not. Okay, well, whatever the case, it's still pretty cool. It's a 14 inch drop and then you have an extender. Let's do five bucks. Now this, I think I saw, yeah, is 1928. A beautiful little gunmetal necklace with all these little danglies. Just trying to see if all the rhinestones are there. I think they are. Purples and blues, very pretty. It does have an extender. Without it, it's an eight inch drop. And let's do six on that one. Super pretty. Okay, that was stuck to the tape. Ooh, maybe this is another Marvella. Ooh, and I think I see another 1928. Okay, this is not marked. Nope. And it looks like there was maybe some that broke. So I'm gonna put this into crafting. Pretty cool crafter's piece to repurpose. Um, this one has some missing stones, so that'll be craft. This is an earring. That's cool, I like that, we'll hold it. Here's another earring, wow, but we're missing, we're missing a lot on this. It's probably glass. That's pretty cool, too bad. Pretty cool, but craft. This is a Ralph Lauren earring. It is not really in the best condition, but let's see if we have the mate. And this little guy that was stuck to the tape is plastic with a probably faux suede cord. Um, I don't really think this would fit over your head. I'm just going to put that in craft. I'm not exactly sure what its purpose is. <clears throat> yeah, 1928. That's pretty gorgeous. Oops, I have a rubber band in here somehow. Let's get that out of here. And measure it. This one is a seven inch drop without the extender. And let's do six on this one as well. We have an earring. Let's hold it. Ooh, look at this, you guys. This is Snowflake Obsidian. Wow. I don't really think that this is sterling. Sometimes in the bail, it will say. Nope. Well, we can test. Let's look at the um, clasp. No markings on the clasp. It's very pretty. Nope, not sterling. Oh wait, there are a couple little blue specks in there. It could be plated. Yeah, I mean, there are a couple little blue specks, you can see it. Um. So it might be a plated pendant. 
And the cord, like the ribbon is actually, it's actually in pretty good shape. It is a eight and a half inch drop. I'm gonna do $8. Okay, this guy is definitely gonna be a no. Can't even stretch him. And this is just a little craft piece. This guy just flew out. He is a pineapple tack pin. So I'll do a dollar on that. Accessory essentials, eyeglass chain. Okay, oh, that's cute. With the little eyeglasses on it. So I will do $5. Okay, that's gonna go into crafting. This is a little wood tiki guy craft. Copper screwbacks. Leafs. We'll do five on those. This is loft, but it is discolored. So we are going to craft that. Oh, this is pretty. Is this a pendant? It is, and it, I think it says 925. Yep, look how pretty this is. You have the lotus, the ohm, and the um, tree of life. That's awesome. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not even a disc, it's the um, yin yang sign. Pretty, okay, um, let's test it really quick. hate the air bubbles. It always messes me up. Yep, it is sterling. Very cute. Okay. So, um, let's do $10. Here's this little bead, maybe Thunderbird leather bracelet. Made in, I can't read what that says. It is a seven inch length and I'll do five bucks. This is a flower, a flower, a feather necklace on suede. Mm, I'm gonna skip on that, kind of grungy. That'll be a dollar though. This is kind of cool. Oh, it's broken. But I think these are glass. Yep, but it'll be a dollar. You know what? I'm going to put this in a baggie just so the beads don't get all over the place. Okay. These are just plastic. They are, it is very, very long. 23 inch drop. $4. This looks like it's sterling. Ew, I don't know what that is. I don't think I, oh yeah, here. Nine, two, five, Thailand. Let's see, nine, two, five, A, and then Thailand, yep. So let's hope we have the mate to that. Oh, 
Oh, here's another one of these. Um, whoops, I just hit the camera a little bit. Sorry. Here's another one of these um, Nicaraguan bracelets. This one has a the little adjustable pulls. So I'll just do four bucks. Here's another one of these things. That'll be a dollar. Here is a religious wood stretchy bracelet. Does It does not stretch very far. I'll just do $2. Oh, what is this? This is an earring, no way. I would feel like a chandelier if I wore this on my ear. <laughs> How cool, it's plastic. Um, it is a little heavy, that's for sure. But very cool, so let's hope there's a mate because I think all the stones are there. This is really pretty. Oh, it's broken. We do not have a clasp. So that'll be a dollar. Here's just a ball chain. It says India on it. And it is a nine inch drop, $2. Oh, I think we have another 1928 necklace. This one, um, hmm, it's definitely got a little bit of wear and we're missing a stone. So that'll be a dollar. Oh yes, here's the other earring. Yes, 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 la la la. So excited. So here's our first pair of sterling earrings out of the lot. They're very cute. They are lever back and they are three fourths of an inch. And then with the wire, it's one and about one and a quarter. So let's do, um, let's do 15 on these. Those are really pretty. Sterling silver. Then we got this guy. This is in, in good condition. This is gold tone. Kind of got like an asymmetric thing going on here. Very nice condition. Extender. Without it, it's an eight inch drop. Five dollars. Okay, this is busted. So that's crafting. Crafting. It's just lightweight metal. This is really pretty. This is a hair tie, but we're missing a ton of stones. So we're gonna pass on that. We have a square clamp clamper. I don't see any maker marks. Um, yeah, it's got some scratches, so let's pass on that. That'll be a dollar. These are glass. I'm going to put this on the mandrel because the bigger the stones like this, um, the smaller the length will actually be because of how big the stones are. It's a six inch, six inch glass, black glass or onyx, not sure. Um, let's do five. There's an earring. There's an earring. This one says Avon. Here's the other Ralph Lauren. I mean, they could be cleaned up, but I think there's still gonna be a little bit of wear to them. Let me see, where was that one? Okay, so it's like a it's like a almost like a sneak print, but not really. So I'll just do three bucks on those. This, oh, this is a slave bracelet. So this you wear like this, and then you put this on over your wrist, like so. So this, it's kind of got some wear on the clasp. We'll just do $2.
checking for markings, checking for markings, no markings, faux pearl, 23 inch total length, $5. All right, just to give you guys a peek, that's what the rest of the jar looks like. Let's bring it back in here. What is this thing? Ooh, that's pretty. What is it? TM and WBEL JCM China. Well, that's a lot of initials. Um, it looks like a double tack pin, but I don't know where the back of the tacks, the pins are, but um, that's really cool. Let's do four bucks on that. Ooh, this is pretty too. This would make a good brooch or even a pendant, loop a chain right through here. Super pretty. Let's see, I don't know if this is glass or not. It does feel like it, maybe. It's pretty cool. I wonder what that was originally on. Just waiting for Pressy. Hurry up, Presidium. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, well, let's just kind of dig through here. That's going to be crafting. It's got a lot of repairs. Okay, here's Pressy. No, it's not glad. Oh, yep, it is. It is. So I will do $2 on this. This, I think I saw a sterling mark. Oh yeah, 925BZK. You know what, let me keep Pressy on because we got some stones. Is that missing one? I don't think so. All right, I don't think that's missing, so let's just find a couple more craft pieces. That's gonna be craft. These Italian charm bracelets. I had one, I think these were like popular in the early 2000s. That'll be craft. All right, so here's Pressy back. I don't like to keep her on too long because they, they can these can overheat and then they're not accurate. Okay, so they're just glass. I'll leave her on for a little bit. 925. The stretch is a little a little sketchy. Um, I will do eight dollars. Ooh, wow, look at this. This is pretty. No markings. That is gorgeous. Great condition. Oh. Nope, we're not missing anything. Okay, six dollars. Craft. Wow, craft, unfortunately. This is a little screw back. I guess we can hold on to that. That's craft. Oops, I'm missing my baggie here. This is or was a clip on or something, it broke, so that'll be craft. Oh, uh oh. Oh boy. Uh oh. Let me get a baggie. <laughs> so these are glass, but it just completely busted. Okay. Before they get all over my floor. So this little baggie of glass stones, glass beads, I will do for $2. Here's more of these little charms. These are all plastic. Here's another one. I'll do $2 on the two. This is interesting. I don't see any markings. It's kind of weird, but kind of cool. 
I use glass. Yep. But it looks like they're missing something on each one. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> I mean, the chain looks like it could be sterling, but there's no marks on anything. It's only a seven inch drop and there's no um, extender. So um, this would actually be a kind of a cool anklet because you can kind of clip it shorter and then like have these dangle. So let's just do $5. Here's a little gold tone bracelet. No maker marks. Seven inch. Excellent condition, $5. Here's a little soda light earring. Little stud. I think we put that piece into crafting as I dropped it on the floor. What is this? Who are you? Okay, don't see a maker mark. It's pretty nice, good condition. Silver tone, and you got all these different links on it. So without the without the um, extender, it's an eight inch drop. So this is really cool. Let's do six bucks on that one. That's nice. Let's kind of get rid of all this gunk here. And then the last bit will dump out. Ooh. Got these two earrings. Look at these mamas. How pretty are these? Bom, 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 bom. Okay, let's go. <laughs> They're pretty cool. Wee wee. -oo. Let's do five bucks. This little scarf clip thingy me jiggy. Four bucks. Here's the other earring. Bummer that it's missing so many things. <sighs> A dollar. This is kind of cool. I don't know exactly what it is. Interesting. One dollar. RBA. If these are your initials. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, it says something on the inside there. Oh, just patent pending. So let's do uh, $4. We have a button cover, a dollar. Here's an earring. It says Hong Kong. Guess we can hang on to that. Oh, we had this one. Here we go. There's a little scratch on this one, right there. No marks, I'll do $2 and I will put new backs on if you, if anyone purchases. These are 1928 brand, these are clip-ons, little clippy doodahs with the enamel, very pretty, $5. Here's a broken clip-on that was Oh no, I can't read it. LC, so Liz Claiborne, but it's all jacked up. Here, oh wait, I see the mate. These are pretty, look at that. They're plastic, but these are really cool. They are definitely vintage. Got a little bit of discoloration, but I think these are awesome. $5. Got a little gold dipped leaf. Pendant, four bucks. This a little bead, that'll be a dollar. This thing, just a tassel is a dollar. That's really pretty, we'll hold on to that. This little guy is missing all his pearls, so that's a dollar. This is a cool earring, we'll hold that. We'll hold that, and all this is craft. Okay, let's dump out the rest of the jar, or I should say fish bowl. And oh, it's dropping everywhere. Okay, so maybe I should get a goldfish now. Huh, just kidding. 
But there's the empty jar. Let's put it over here. Patriotic lapel pin. Collect them all. New York Police, 911. Um, $3. Oh, yes. Look, 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 look. Oh, my gosh. How cool. Somebody. Oh, no. It's broken. Ugh. Poop. Yeah, it's missing this part. Maybe somebody can fix it. Oh, these are awesome. All right, I'll do them for $2. Here's another um, initial scarf clip, $4. A little Buddha and an elephant. These just look like plastic, $2. Oh, I see a 1928. Boom. Oh, this was, hold on. So this had matching earrings. Oh my gosh, is it here? No, ugh. Okay, well, we only have one of these earrings, unfortunately. Well, somebody can make a pendant out of it, maybe, so I'll do a dollar on it. But here's the, here's the necklace. So it was a set. Bummer. Gorgeous. Love it. Super pretty. Eight-inch drop without the extender. I'm gonna do six bucks. Oops, sorry. Okay, we had this guy. Where's he? Right here. Okay, these are 1928. I will put backs on them. There's a little bit of wear on the backs. If I can move my thumb. So we'll do three dollars. This is a Sarah Coventry, but it's missing the pin. So we'll just do a dollar. Here is a hematite necklace with some cat eye, it looks like. Pretty, good condition, barrel clasp. Nine inch drop, $5. This guy's cool, but we don't have a mate and he's missing a bunch of stuff, so a dollar. These are post earrings. They might be, they might have sterling hooks, um, posts, glass, um, $5. You see little screw backs, but they're missing all the stones. <laughs> so a dollar for the pair. Ooh, that's pretty and we don't have the mate. Bummer. Well, this is going to be a dollar. Here's the one that, the other one that was broken. Dollar. Oh, look here. We do have a mate for this guy. This is the Hong Kong clip on. Four dollars. Okay, so we don't have mates for any of these over here. Bummer. Maybe this guy, he's with his bent little post matched this guy. Yep, no, one's bigger than the other. They are sterling posts though. So if you have maybe just one piercing you would like, I'll do, um, Three bucks a piece. Okay, so um, the re nothing else has a mate. What's this? State Florian, Saint Florian. Sorry, patron state saint of firefighters, fire and rescue. Hmm, I wonder, 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 wonder what this is about. So let's do a little Google image search.
Okay, so only about six bucks. <laughs> Solid brass. How come they're not giving prices? Yeah, $10, 12 the, the brass ones look like they're going for more. So um, I'll just do $5 on it. Okay, so the rest of these earrings, let me get this out of here, had no mate. Wait, what was this? Where did this come from? Must have forgot to show this. It was just sitting here, a little, a little bracelet. It does have an extender, but right now where it's sitting, it's seven inches, so let's do four bucks. Yeah, that stinks because we had this sterling earring and this sterling earring, so I guess that'll have to go into my scrap pile. And all the rest of these have no mates. That's bummer, super bummer. All right, but anyway, um, for the most part, I think this was a really good jar, bowl. <laughs> Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. Make sure you check the sold list um, and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe right here if you haven't already. It's free. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.